Martin Tyler here as usual, Alan Smith alongside me as usual, I'm delighted to say. And it is an English League Cup tie that we've got for you today. Hi there, Martin, and I'm really excited for this one. It's one of the uh, three domestic competitions available to the big clubs, and that's why they've taken it increasingly seriously. Southampton in action today will face Yeovil Town. Hayden Pennyfeather is the man in control of the game. For the first touch, and the ball is in play, off we go. Jack Cork. Well, this could be a chance. Keeps it going well. And they've cut it out. Keeping the move going. Well, that's a real tussle for the ball there. Good play, but the free kick is all they get for it. And they're looking for a bit more, really. Well, the card's shown it is yellow. Well, maybe on another day they've got away with it. They can play it off the cuff or go for something from the training ground. Oh, a quick shot here. Free kick kept out by the goalkeeper. Oh, really safe, handsome in with strikers bearing down on him for the knockdowns. Got in the way well, the defender. That's a penalty, it had to be. Goal news involving Queen's Park Rangers, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Swansea City. It's been scored by Nathan Dyer. I'm not sure the ball was going in, but it hit a defender and nestled in the corner. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Goal! And a penalty scorer of some style here. Yeah, an emphatic finish, no doubt about it. the first goal of the game, it's 1-0. Upson. Trying to screen it against the challenge now. Goal news from Barnsley. It's a goal from Barnsley. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Position gifted the ball, really. Here's Davis. Well executed. And they're working well as a unit, maybe getting in one or two extra midfield players back to help out as well. Yoshida, goal news from Sunderland, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sunderland, 17 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. There's been a goal at Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bolton Wanderers, 19 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Goal news from Queen's Park Rangers, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Queen's Park Rangers, 21 minutes played, 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Off the post! Well, that was a chance, really, to work the ball in that wide area, but he's gone across the line, out of play. Goal news from Everton, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Watford, 24 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Chaplow. Well, they've got the ball back, a quick break is on. That's a cute pass from the player. Well, he almost went down there, did well to stay on his feet. It's good to watch the uh, skill here with the back heel. Goal is from Old Trafford, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Manchester United. 30 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Safely behind for a goal kick. Excellent control in a tight area. Goal news from Ipswich. It's a goal for Ipswich Town. 32 minutes played. 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Good ball. Good pass. I thought that attack was actually going to lead to a chance, but maybe it's easier to see from up here than it was down on the pitch. Oh, it's a great chance, great opportunity, tries his luck. Well, there he was, 
thinking, I'm sure, he was going to add to his tally. Yeah, he's, uh, he's playing well today. Keeps getting into these positions. Movement's good. Not this time, though. Luke Ayling. Player right at him, but he's kept the ball well. And goes in with a slide tackle. The interception, just in time. Keanu Marsh-Brown. So dangerous. And he goes for goal. And it's in. The equalising goal. Well, that was the equaliser, and it's 1-1. Nathaniel Klein. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Quick ball. And he drives for goal. Teed up beautifully for the first time shot, but he's missed it. Well, it was begging to be hit, wasn't it? The quality of the pass, the weight of it, perfect. Now Reed. Got the midfield players back behind the ball as well. Here he is with a chance, and here's the shot. Well, the referee has blown for half time at 1 1. 50 50, really, in this first half. Certainly, that's what they say about the possession. Yeah, and I think the message in both dressing rooms is that uh, listen, this match is still there to be won if we can uh, just step it up a notch. News of a goal from Wigan. It's the second goal for Wigan Athletic. 46 minutes played. 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Yoshida. Goal news from Manchester United. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester United. 49 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. He's cut it out. And he's cut out the danger. No mistake about that. Here's Upson. Goal news involving Manchester City, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Manchester City. 53 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Goal news from West Ham. It's a goal for West Ham United. 54 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Goal news from West Ham. It's a goal for Reading. 56 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, here comes a substitution for the away team. Goal news now from Sunderland, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Sunderland. 58 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. News of a goal from the Etihad, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 61 minutes played, 3-0. Cheers, Alan. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper. Goal news from Ipswich. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 64 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Here is an opportunity to break forward, really. And the shot at the end of it. It's a goal, and they're in front with that goal. Well, they've got the lesser players here, Alan, but they're trying to show that the hole is greater than the sum of the individual parts, and they've got a goal. They just, what they are, Martin, is a good team. They stick together. Look at the reward here. Look at the number of defenders around him there, but he still managed to get his strike away. Great composure. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. And the scoreline is 2-1. Goal news from Queen's Park Rangers, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 67 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Now, here's a chance to get forward quickly. They like to play on the break here, but it just hasn't worked for them this time.
is Young. Supported on either side by his teammates. Goal nears from Barnsley. It's the second goal for Barnsley. 72 minutes played. 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Lee. Is he going to pass the ball now? In a good position. Can't keep the ball at the moment. They're passing it well here. Well, the other players have uh, just lost it there, and now the opposition can counter-attack themselves. Goal news from Ipswich. It's the second goal for Ipswich Town. 78 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Jack Cork. Here's Lee. To Young. They couldn't stop him, and he's away. But when they were on the counter-attack, you thought this could be it. That could be... Here's the shot. Sloppy earlier in the game, but stopping that shot very well indeed. Yeah, he's picked himself up and uh, he's done well for his team there. Goal news involving Wigan. It's the second goal for Aston Villa. It's been scored by Gabby Agbonlahor. He met a cross full in the volley and smashed it home. Four minutes remain. 2-2. Thank you very much, Alan. It is time now for the managers to show their hands with their substitutions. Both managers are going to do this. At such a vital time in the game, that really could have opened them up. Well defended. Climb well to head it to the supporting player. That could stop the attack. Schneiderlin. So a good looking attack this one it might be a final attack as they look for this equaliser good ball oh that's a wonderful ball can they finish it oh, he takes the shot good pass here he is with a chance he's gone for goal good handling of the shot by the goalkeeper That's it, final whistle. This is a brilliant result for them. They continue to fight in the cup. On they go to the next round. They just appear to have a wonderful team spirit in that camp and that's going to serve them well. Ready and waiting for you now, the classified results from elsewhere. Thanks, Martin and Alan. English League Cup. Barnsley, 2. Doncaster Rovers, 0. Bolton Wanderers, 1. Millwall, 0. Everton, 0. Watford, 1. Ipswich Town, 2. Wolverhampton Wanderers, 1. It's time to turn our attention to the draw of the English League Cup. Perhaps an upset on the cards as Yeovil Town host Fulham. Manchester City entertain Queen's Park Rangers. Wigan Athletic host Arsenal. Manchester United entertain Bolton Wanderers. West Bromwich Albion host Sunderland. West Ham United entertain Stoke City. <laughs>